It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Chile. This is a bottle of craft beer, Rothhammer Brave Red Ale. Soul crafted Chilean beer. It's coming in at 4.5% ABV. In a 330 milliliter bottle. Got a silver bottle cap. Um, I picked this one up in, is it Las Iguanas? Now, some people are saying that I keep confusing Las Iguanas with um, Lagunitas. Some people have said, in the review, you start off by talking about Las Iguanas restaurant, where I picked these beers up, and ooh. That beer nearly wanted to fly out the top of the top of the uh, top of the bottle. Then, yeah, people have been saying I've been getting confused halfway through the review uh, I, from saying like Las Iguanas, which is a, a, a kind of Spanish uh, Latin Latin Spanish type restaurant where um, Chilean food, Mexican food. I love it, absolutely love it, really good. Um, and then halfway through the review, I start talking about um, Lagunitas Brewing Company. <laughs> That's what happened in the previous. Um, I did another beer from Roth Hammer. It was an IPA, a Zaka IPA. And apparently in that review, I started talking about uh, Lagunitas Brewing Company, thinking that it was the Lag Las Iguanas restaurant. Anyway, I'm confusing you now, I'm confusing myself. Let's get to this beer review. We got a one finger white head, uh, good levels of carbonation. You've got that nice hazy kind of red colored ale going on, deep amber in color, nice levels of carbonation rolling up the side of the glass. This glass, this glass does have a widget on the bottom, mind you, which is gonna kind of create extra carbonation. Um, when it creates that extra carbonation, it means that it flattens the beer quicker so only use an etched glass if you're a quick drinker if you're a slow sipping type don't use an etched glass because what you'll find is by the time you get to the bottom of the glass your beer is flat because it's just knocked that carbonation clean out of the beer um thankfully i'm not a slow drinker <laughs> uh, and i can probably I'll probably polish off a 330 milliliter bottle in 10 to 15 minutes <clears throat> aroma then on this hazy looking red ale biscuity slightly nutty bready nice hop aroma to it. it smells quite nice actually i do like a red ale always like the red ale i like that combination of the kind of the darker malts with the with the newer world hops it clashes, it gives off kind of like a toffee, a biscuity, a nuttiness, and then it kind of clashes with the hops and the hops want to come through and it's grapefruit and orange peel. And it, it's just lovely. It's a really complex, I find a red ale, a really complex beer. Let's get the, well, we've got the aroma. Is there anything else in the aroma? Just quite nutty and biscuity and hoppy and... Lemon, orange peel, grapefruit, spiciness, pepperiness. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's superb. Oh, that is superb. I got to put that down. Oh, that's lovely. Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows. What a beer that is. Really nutty and biscuity and bready. Do you know you can get some... This is not that. This is just a loaf of Asda wholemeal bread. But I like, I like brown bread. I'm a brown bread fan. This tastes like the, the higher quality brown bread where you get all the nuts on the top of... All of the kind of the nuts and maybe some flour, some pumpkin seeds, some sunflower seeds. You know, your quality kind of bread. 
It's got that feel about it. Nuttiness, biscuitiness. Oh, it's lovely. Absolutely lovely. And the drinkability for that four point, what do we call it? 4.5% ABV. It's really drinkable. It's really quite refreshing. I'm going to tell you a little story. Every time a brewer asks me to brew a beer with them, my mind always goes blank. I've drank many, many, many beer styles from all over the world and put on the spot. Say I meet a brewer at a beer festival. And he says, do you want to come and brew with us? I'll say automatically, yeah, why not? And then they'll go, what do you want to brew? And my mind just, my eyes glaze over and my mind goes blank. And I, what I should do is think about the next time I'm on my way on the train or a bus to a, or being dropped off to a beer festival. If it's close, my wife will take me, you know, Barry Cardiff, she'll drop me to the beer festival. On the way, I should think, what would I like to brew if a brewer asked me to go and brew with them? And I'm going to... It, it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to place this very beer style in my mind, almost like implant red ale in my mind, because I don't think I brewed one. I, I'm saying that I brewed an imperial red ale in Poland, but that, that was slightly different. That was an imperial strength version. But I would like to brew a red ale. A red ale... for my next collaboration brew, because I just love this style. It's just so, it's never too far away from your lips. It's always close. It's always like, I mean, look at, look at the beer. I just noticed then, look at that beer as I rock it back and forth in the glass. Look at the quality of that brew. Absolutely fabulous. Fun fact, I've actually reviewed this beer before. It was sent to me by our channel sponsors, Beers of Europe, um, probably about six or seven years ago. But it was six or seven years ago and I'd forgotten. So I was in, um, not Lagunitas, I was in Las Iguanas and I was like, oh, this is a new beer, uh, a Chilean beer. Ooh. Um, I'll buy a few bottles of that. Like four or five quid a bottle. <laughs> said, said to the manager of um, Las Iguanas, can you leave the tops on? I'm taking them home. Um, I want to drink them at home. And she looked at me strangely. I said, I want the whole range. I want all of these different beers. Um, I bought a lot. And it turns out I've already reviewed the Azaka IPA and this Brave Red Ale. So you guys may want to go back and have a look at my original review because um, I haven't watched it in six years, seven years, however long it was, um, and see the difference from... I mean, i got a couple of more limpets on my face. These are a little bit older, like, you know, a little bit more... Gro like, 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 a little bit more of a chin and stuff these days. But, um, yeah, see if the beer is any different. See if I, what I'm saying right now is the same as what I was saying six or seven years ago. <laughs> Why not? It's lovely. Toffee, biscuity malts coming through. Nice carbonation, lovely hoppy finish to it. Nice bitterness, nice peppery spiciness. Yeah, I like it. I, I really like this. What's the brewer saying? I don't think they're saying too much about it. Well, the, the writing's so small. Um, we are the craft beer revolution from Chile. We put our heart and soul into brewing. You're the best beers we can using Chilean water, hops and malts. We strive every day to share, shake, to shake your perceptions. Yeah, that's right. And exceed your expectations. Um, this is about putting our soul and talent into every pint and bottle. We brew soul-crafted Chilean beers. Um, I can read. 
Um, but the reason why I was squinting and look at the look at the size of that small print. That's the smallest small print I've ever seen in my life. I'm trying to read that. I need a magnifying glass these days. Um, rating for this beer then. Looks good, smells good, tastes good. It would go really well with some of the Las Iguanas dishes. Um, some of the spicy chicken strips are fantastic in Las Iguanas. Really good. Rating. I like it. Love the lacing. Love, love the look of the gear. Uh, the beer, not the gear, the beer. The aroma is great. Toffee, biscuity flavours coming through in the taste. It's a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe for our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.